Hey there folks, Rel here, and this is your weekly update for October 20th. The very first bit of news is that there is a new show on twitch.tv slash planetside2, that's the official channel, with the aim to give players a more meaningful avenue of feedback and discussion regarding the state of the game, you know, without getting weighed down by the hostility or closed-mindedness of the forums or Reddit. In fact, it's actually called State of the Game because that's what we're talking about. And yes, I am aware that State of the Game is a StarCraft II show hosted by It's Me JP, but the term State of the Game has been used forever in regards to sports in general, so it's not exactly original, it's just popular. That being said, the very first episode took place this past Friday, and we had four guests with us. That's Tox5 from the Iron Wolves Scourge of the Server from Future Crew, Luke Sigmund, who is the lead designer of Planetside 2, and David Carey, who is the producer of Planetside 2. So, really good crew with us, and we got to ask a decent amount of questions, and despite some issues that'll be panned out in later episodes, I thought it went pretty well. If you'd like to take a look at the past broadcast or just listen to a podcast version of it, I've linked both of those in the video description below, and it's always fun listening to the developers address some huge concerns from their player base. And I think you'll probably find something in there insightful, interesting, or amusing at the very least. And I'm not sure if the show will be weekly or bi-weekly because it should cater more to the flow of the patch notes and the game updates so that there's always something to discuss. But you can find it Fridays from 5pm to 6pm PST on twitch.tv slash planetside2. I'll also be putting out a Reddit thread, a Google Plus post, and a tweet prior to the episode to heighten awareness. So if you don't follow me on any of those social sites, it might be worth doing. The next episode should have Kevmo on board, who was and is the vehicle designer, but I guess he also works a lot on balance now too. So if you have any pressing balance questions to ask him, then definitely join us for that. The next thing that I would like to talk about is that a member of the team at SOE, uh, John Roy, he passed away on October 14th. And John Roy has worked a lot on uh, Planetside 2 in the beta days, so Amrish, uh, Indar, and Esmir are all part of his work. So if you've played on any of those continents, and you have, you've been able to experience some of what he's given you. So right now there is a funding drive going on to donate money to his family, and it's it's not easy for a family to deal with loss of a loved one. I know I personally experienced it, but it can also be really tough financially as well. So if you're feeling generous and you'd like to support his family as they go through this tough time, you can open up the link in the video description and make a donation. Something definitely more lighthearted to talk about is uh, that the Halloween event video that I recently put out is out of date, and I held off on making it for a long time because I thought that some things would be changing, and they did, so I finally got to a place where I figured that it would be safe to put out the video now, and there's still enough time left in the event that it'd be worthwhile, and boom boom boom, change, 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 the thing was out of date before it even went live. So. It's still useful, you know, if you want to go check it out, but keep in mind that the changes are listed in the video description. Masks give you bonus experience for wearing them, pumpkins spawn outside of alerts now, and candy cannon kills have been greatly reduced. So, rapid iteration is a thing, for better and for worse. But finally, I would just like to mention how busy things are lately, and I've been kicking out only about two videos a week, which is down from the usual three that I put out, and my goal would actually be to put five videos out a week, but that's obviously a huge jump from where I am right now. Mondays are filled with the weekly update, Tuesdays have your Killstreak Tuesdays, and both of those are, are probably the easiest videos to make. They take maybe three to five hours or less between scripting, audio, editing, rendering, uploading, writing the video descriptions, and creating a thumbnail in Photoshop. And both of those I feel are, are kind of fluff, to be completely honest. You know, a lot of people still find them interesting, helpful, or entertaining, but I don't personally feel as if they're truly substantial contributions to the community. But on Wednesday we have Battle Rank Go. On Fridays we now have State of the Game, which I think is a very important addition to the lineup. Uh, Saturday nights we have an organized operations with the outfit, and on Sunday, at least this past Sunday, I got to do another podcast with Hater, Ironroids, and Ginger, uh, the Under the Radar podcast. And all this is kind of on top of creating official tutorial videos for Planetside 2, taking care of my two-year-old, spending time with my family, dealing with medical issues, responding to comments, emails, producing, and researching supplemental content for social channels. 
among whatever else comes down the road. Now, the point of all that is not to complain. In fact, I find it very engaging to try and overcome that challenge. But my first priority to all of you is the channel, and a dip in content is not something that I generally want to see. So instead of like hemming and hawing and like promising you more videos and trying to keep you on the hook, I want to know what you guys want most out of the channel. So I have a very specific amount of time that I'm able to work, and I want to know how I can prioritize that time to give you the best viewing experience and keep you interested in supporting the channel and helping it grow. For example, for the past three or four weeks, weekly updates, they haven't really had a whole lot of content. And that's not because I haven't been looking for it, it's because it doesn't exist anymore. Planetside 2 has slowed down their update schedule, basically down to one bigger update a month, with supplemental hotfixes along the way. So what I can do is make weekly updates bi-weekly or even monthly, depending on how much value you actually find in them. Then I could take the time on Mondays to either put out something else that might be more engaging, or just put that free time toward longer videos like weapon reviews or certification guides or thoughts videos. That's just an example, but I would like to know overall what kind of content you look forward to most so that I can focus on that. And don't just respond to me, but talk about it with one another in the comments section. Because remember that you are all part of this community, and the community is my personal compass. So it's only together that we're able to plot the best course. That being said, I'm going to leave you with some footage screwing around with the HROS, which I, it's a weapon I really enjoy. But let's all make the best of this week. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.